All right. Now the orthographic, and you get to pick one. Either you do the shed or you do the coffee medic. I'm not going to show you how to draw that. I just want to explain a couple things. One, you tape your paper down as your normal. Two, you're already given your center points for everything to start off. So here's your center for your frontal plane. Here's your center for your horizontal or your top plane. Here's your minor line where everything connects. Now you're going to have to use your drafting tools and you're going to have to use your skills. So let's say you're doing the coffee medic. Well, you have to decide, do you want to use the architect skill and use the regular inch? Do you want to use the engineering skill 1 to 20, which is what I recommend? Do you want to try it on the metric, etc.? I advise you to go ahead and do the 1 to 20 on the engineering scale. And you're going to go in and you're going to take that engineering scale and you're going to measure the dimensions. Now the dimensions are given to you for an example for the width of the mug when we're holding it. It has a total diameter of 3.20. Well, how do I measure that? Get out your scale. Find that 3.20. So here's my scale. Three point two zero, so point one point two, so point three two zero is the diameter for the whole thing. We need to find out what's half of that. Half of that should be one point six. So that one point six is going to come from that center line each direction. That way you get it nice and centered on there, because we want to keep everything centered on the drawing. So I just marked. 1.6 from the center here to the left and to the right and then I'll line it up. So I'm going to start blocking it in. I'm not drawing the whole thing again. I'm only going to draw a partial to show you here. Remember lightly. Draw it up, draw it down. And then I'm going to look and see what is the overall height of the mug. So the overall height is 3.8. So that tells me that my half of that, 1.9. Again, using that 20 scale from that center mark up, 1.9, down, 1.9. Mark it. So there's the basic body of the coffee mug. Because think about when you hold a coffee mug and you look at it and you're holding the handle and you see you see the outline, the rectangular shape. Then we would also need the part for our handle. So I look at the handle and the handle sticks out 1.4 away. Since this one doesn't need to be centered, I'm going to just come out 1.4 straight out. And so I have just blocked in the basic view here. So here's where my basic body of the, hand, the mug will sit. Then I have my top view. Now, think about the top view of a mug. When you hold a mug and you look down on it, the shapes that you see are circles. So I really don't have to do the measurement part to find that. I really can just take my compass or I could take my template, either one. I've been able to block in that basic shape there. And I just keep repeating the process. So I go around and I find things and I measure it, like the handle. I know the handle has a total depth of 0.60, so it, half of that would be 0.3, because I'm trying to keep it centered. Find that center mark, line it up. You just keep going. All right. I'm not going to show you all of it. I just want to show you part of it. I want to remind you on this one. All right. I'm not going to finish drawing all of it because you should be able to draw thinking and using your brain and looking at the example. I do want to point out one thing. We do need to darken the border and we do need to do all the lettering and the text here on this one. And to darken it in, what I mean by that, because I know, yes, the lines are there.
think of your border as your picture frame for the drawing. So I've made that line extremely dark, right? So I'm going to make all my examples like the example done. I'm going to go over right same Houston. I'm going to title the drawing because you would title it if it was the mug. You would title the coffee mug. If it was a shed, you'd title it a shed. You're going to tell what the scale is, all that here. And you're going to fill out the border and your title block. Okay? Make sure that you make yours look as much as you possibly can like the example given.